Welcome to Live Oaks. Now the main positions for this map are going to be in the town, uh, kind of like this area here, like this, uh, sort of like like this sign that kind of line diagonally across, um, and this bit over here. Um, you're going to see most of the enemies that are going to be here and here, um, but at the start of the game, this area kind of in the middle is kind of important. Um, the majority of the heavy tanks, the slower ones, are going to either go to the city or over there. Uh, the only problem is that if you're in a slow heavy, you're going to be way too long to get to this area. And as you're going into the city over here, you're going to get spotted beforehand. So you've got to really, really hug the red line if you want to go, go and get into the city. Uh, medium tanks, you just go wherever you want. Um, I would suggest going over here. Uh, there's plenty of spots over here that you can actually get some good damage done. And you can even go hold down on. And for light tanks, start off by trying to spot anyone that's in here or even across here. Um, and then you could go and just free roam for the rest of the game. Um, but yeah, I'll get into the spots now. Okay, so starting off with the first light tank spot. Now this is going to be what I would suggest everyone kind of does at the start. Um, it doesn't matter if you're in an EBR. It doesn't matter if you're in a normal tracked light tank. Um, anywhere over here. Um, is going to get you some spotting damage. Now this bush is a kind of the safe bet to uh, to go to. It doesn't take you too long to get to and even if you're against an EBR, the majority of the time you'll spot each other so it doesn't really matter. Um, if you've got two EBRs, if you've got an EBR and you're a tracked light tank, you're going to spot each other anyway so it really doesn't matter if you get spotted because you can hide behind this house um, and actually stay relatively safe. Uh, the only thing you need to watch out for is anyone that's coming into here because obviously they'll shoot across and also anyone that's going to be camping at this house over here because as you can see it's about there which is over here so if you go too far back you can get shot from there and anyone else that is over here so you just need to be careful of that and kind of use this as cover and don't go too far back um, but what you can do if you don't get spotted um, which Sometimes it happens. You can just sit into this or you can even go a little bit further forwards if you don't get spotted at all. And you could try and take this bush here. Um, what this bush will do is allow you to spot anyone over here with relative ease and anyone who's got bad camo or doesn't have good enough. Even if an STRV kind of is up there. Um, if he's in the bushes, then no, obviously. But if he shoots, you'll spot him. Because um, you're well within range of him. So this bush is quite nice, especially if you haven't been spotted yet. You can then go to this bush as well. Um, it's just whatever one you, you like. I like to go to this bush um, because it gives me a lot more cover um, from everything else. So I would suggest using this bush. Um, and you can also do exactly the same thing on the other side. Um, however, the other side, you could actually get to... If you can get to this bush here... Um, you can sit in this bush without any issues, like none. Um, I've sat in this bush before, um, and you just you just farm XP because all the people are going to do. No one's going to be able to spot you, even if they're up here. Um, as long as you are like down a little bit, um, you'll be able to spot anyone that's coming across like this. Um, you're also if you're tall enough, you'll briefly spot people there. Um, although the EBR is very, very low profile, so it's not really going to work in the EBR. Um, in that case, I would go back to either you go into this bush here, which hardly anyone predicts um, just because it's so small. Um, you can actually get away with it in an EBR. You can just sit here and you're fine. The only problem with this bush is that if you get spotted, you're pretty much dead. Um, whereas the safer bush, which is all obviously from this side of, this side of the map here, um, is this bush here. So this is exactly the same kind of bush as that one. But if you do want to try and spot the enemy light tank, then you're going to have to go up a little bit and then go to there. But this is like the baseline spot that I'd recommend. So this bush here and obviously the first bush that I showed you on the other side. And then you can kind of experiment with different things. Um, if you want to get a little bit more aggressive and a bit risky, then you go to that bush, you can go to that bush, you just see what happens. Okay, so the next light tank spot that I'm going to show you is the middle of the map here. Um, there is enough place or enough space to go there. It's just the case of uh, if you get spotted, it's quite hard to leave from it. 
Um, the first spot that I'll show you is this spot here. Um, what you can do with this spot is actually be kind of quite sneaky almost um, because they don't predict you being here. So anyone that's in this area here will actually get um, spotted if they shoot. Um, but you can also, you see all of these reeds kind of along here? These all act as camo. So what you can do is get into, for example, um, a reed like, like this. And although it doesn't look like it, you're actually kind of give, getting a little bit more camo. So if you're trying to stay away from people, go into these reeds and try and hide because it will help you out. Um, apart from that, there's a few bushes that you can sit in, um, like this one here, if you get this far ahead, and then you can actually spot across over here where a majority of the tanks are gonna be fighting. Um, so you can use that to your advantage. Um, there's also a reed here that you can go to. Uh, if you go and sit in this bit here, then you can actually do the exact same thing and you will get camo from this because this is what the game kind of sees, which is not you. Um, so yeah, that works too. Uh, plenty of reeds along here. You can find one that works for you. The exact same thing is for the opposite side of the map. You could use uh, this bush here to your advantage to try and spot the middle. Um, sorry, not the middle, the um, kind of the light tank area that I just showed you. So you can actually spot all the way over there. And also if you go forwards a little bit, you can actually spot people that are over here. So this spot works very well. It's up to you whether you want to use it. Majority of light tanks are gonna go this way. So maybe you could use this to your advantage um, early on in the game. Okay, so for the medium tanks. Now, I'm gonna show you over this side first. Um, that's the first spot, but you can go and kind of just sit around here. Um, although I'm probably gonna show you that on the TD side. Um, so yeah, just to make it kind of simpler. A lot of people go through here and go through the water. Never go through the water. It's always, always faster across the bridge. Um, you don't get slowed down by the water. Uh, there is a line that you can take um, to go through the water and maintain most of your speed. Um, but however, like, it's kind of hard to follow if you don't really, haven't really played this map a lot before. Um, so just go across the bridge. It's 10 times faster. Um, and then you'll get to this position here. Um, this is the first spot that you can kind of go to. Um, if you're in something that doesn't really have a lot of armor, um, you can kind of pick two different things. The first spot is here, although you're going to need to win this dip. If you don't win this, then you're kind of letting the enemy have the advantage um, because they have already crossed. And you could then kill... Well, you have a lot better chance of winning if you can box them into this kind of uh, ridge line here. If you can get and win this ridge, this ridge line, then you can box the enemy into here and also back there. Um, there's another like little dip, as you can see here, um, which I'll show you on the other side of the um, map in a second. But if you can like box them into here, then they don't really have anywhere to go. And if they do try and go anywhere, they're gonna have to expose a lot of their 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 tank to try and get back, unless they go all the way back around. Um, so if you can get some tanks up here, and then some tanks that are also over here, which I'll show you now, which you can literally just go across and around. Even in a Leo, you can, you can quite happily do this. You just need to be careful about this position here, because once you get to here, people can be on this ridge line, or even gone all the way down here, into this area here, this kind of uh, slope. But once you get to here, you can then uh, actually box them in yet again so they can't come this way. So basically, just win this dip and you have an advantage. Because the exact same thing happens to the other side. You get boxed into this kind of dip over here and then they can just batter you. Whereas if you win this, whoever wins this dip usually wins this side, usually. But yeah, if you get a few tanks here, a few tanks here, they're boxed in, you can't do anything. Other than that, there's not really too many spots to go to. Um, it's honestly just make sure you win this and you're safe. Uh, let's now move on to the other side so I can show you what I mean. Okay, so from this side of the map, I'll show you what I mean by that you can get properly boxed in and you can't really escape. Um, the only place that you can escape is once you're here. Um, from here, you can then back off and go all the way back to your base. 
But if you've progressed forwards and they push and they take this dip, you are then stuck in this kind of basin area here. And yeah, you can get shot from absolutely everywhere. Your only real opportunity to actually like fight them is to get your back down to one of these and then either face these or you go all the way up and around here or you go over to this side here and then you can shoot over whoever's going to be poking up there. So yeah, it's kind of important to win this dip because from this side of the map, you can do exactly the same thing and go over into this bit and then keep them all into the dip over here. So once you win this bit here, they're all stuck here. There's a few dips and uh, ridge lines that they can get behind, but they can't progress any any further forwards because it's just simply impossible. If you if your team takes this and they still manage to lose, then there's something wrong because you should not be losing once they are stuck in here. Um, especially as if you have people going around the side here and people going up here because they're getting shot from two different angles. So it's really important to win this. And if you're in a platoon, you can almost take this in a free man in a three man platoon as long as you have decent decent enough tanks um but yeah uh, that's the kind of first spot i'll show you two other spots that you can go to if you kind of want to sit a little bit further back on this side okay so the first spot that i'm going to show you is this spot over here now from here you can actually have very very good vision on anyone that's over here um, you can go all the way back to try to make the bush uh, solid and then you can go around like this and you can get some good good shots on people. Sit here in the STB1 and you're pretty much good. Um, yeah, anything that has decent enough gun depression and can has good camera rating, you're pretty safe to just shoot people that are over here. Uh, over the other side, you can go to this position here where you will have bushes and trees to protect yourself from getting spotted. And anyone that is peeking over this ridge line, or even on this ridge line, or even down the bottom, you can get easy shots on them. So this is very, very nice if you need to fall back. So if you notice that your team's going to lose this position, you can fall back to this um, and help your team out as best as you can. Uh, alternatively, you could go to this ridge line. It's a little bit safer because you don't have to cross and go up the hill. So this is also good for TDs, which we'll get onto in a second. Um, but yeah, overall, this side for medium tanks is very, very good. You can go to this bit over here, but it's kind of more of a TD spot, and I wouldn't recommend medium tanks go in there, um, just because you're not really in the battle. Um, you can go there in a Leo. You can also go and snipe from this house, which I'll show you in the TDs as well. Um, but let's move on to the heavy tanks now. Okay, so for the heavy tanks, now you can go over to the side that I've already shown, um, especially if you go up and around here, you can go there in pretty much any tank. Um, Cran vans, emils, you can go up onto this bit and just trying to dominate anywhere over there. But if you are in something that you don't really feel like belongs over there, then you can go over here, you know, say in a mouse. A mouse does not belong over there or Type 5 Heavy. Um, then you can go along here and just as long as you hug this ridge line, um, sorry, this red line, um, and embrace your inner unicum, you know, um, then you will, you shouldn't get spotted as likely. Um, the chances of you getting spotted are still there, and if they come up and over, then you're going to get spotted no matter what. But once you're in here, there's plenty of spaces to go. If you're in a faster tank like the 277, I recommend going straight across here, and you can either go to this bit here, or you can go right into here and side scrape from here. Um, but what I would what I like to do is actually go to this spot like this and then you can side scrape out from here and Shoot anyone that's over there, which is where they're going to be coming in from which I'll show you in a second Apart from that um, Basically any building you can go and side scrape behind the danger zone is really this this uh, road through the middle So you need to be careful of that um, and You can try and progress through um, without crossing the road um, by going through uh, areas like this. Um, you just need to be careful. Once you get to anywhere past this kind of lane, um, you're going to probably be, be detected because if they're in here, they're going to spot you, um, which uh, quite a few people do like to go to. Um, also, this church is a bit of a danger zone because you can see that they cross here uh, if they choose to uh, be aggressive. Um, so there, there's a lot of places that you need to watch out for when you're in the city. Um, 
it's they're the main points that I've said to watch out for. Other than that, it's just how the battle goes and where the other people are on the map. Uh, but yeah, overall, you can go to the city in a heavy tank. It's just, it's not very good for mouse. A mouse type 5 heavy, slow heavy tanks, this map is not very kind to you. Um, and you can't really do too much um, until you get to the city. Um, but yeah, having said that, let's quickly switch it over to the other side of the map. Okay, so from this side of the map, ignore the little mutts, he's uh, very bad. Um, he also shot me earlier. Um, but from over here, quickly go across this little ridge line here and then you can become safe. Um, the only thing that's really going to spot you is people that are very, very good view range scouts, which are going to be around about here. They can spot all the way into here as you're crossing. Um, also, if they want to try and be aggressive um, and actively scout, then they can and they can spot you and there's nothing you can really do about that. Um, but yeah, just hug the red line like you would the other side of the map and you'll get into um, the position that I'm going to show you. Um, you can kind of divert uh, once you get to here and then go in through the city um, if you really want to. Um, I would also recommend um, trying to knock down some of these buildings, especially these ones that are a bit further back because it's super annoying when you're trying to retreat back um, and the buildings are in the way because um, they'll just slow you down. So if you do need to retreat, then uh, it's useful to knock them down. Um, there's two spots you can go to. You can go to this spot here and side scrape, which will give you the exact opposite of um, where we were looking earlier at the first spot. Or you can go here and side scrape, although you are kind of more boxed in here, um, as you're going to have to expose quite a lot of your vehicle to be able to get out again. Um, so two spots there to think about. Um, other than that, you need to be very, very careful when you cross here. Um, so when you come across here, you can actually be shot at by anyone that's in the bush there. Which, if you remember, that little blue house is the first uh, light tank spot that I showed you. So you're going to get spotted here as well um, as you're crossing. And if artillery is in play, then you'll, you'll get, they'll get shot off on you. Um, you can kind of go hold down here. Um, like in this position like this. Um, especially with something that's a little bit higher up. Uh, you can definitely go hold down in it. Um, and then shoot across to the church. Um, so yeah, there's plenty of spots here. And just... Generally, you, the only time that you need to really, really be careful is when you're crossing these open streets. Um, because that is when you're going to get shot from the TD sitting over here or anywhere else that they might be. Um, and yeah, you're just not really going to have a very good day. So if you watch out for that as you're in the city, you're going to do absolutely fine. Um, let's now move on to the TDs because we've spoken about them quite a bit in this so far. Okay, so finally the TDs. Now, the first spot that I'm going to show you is this house here. You can go here in your like Leo 1s or medium tanks that can snipe. Um, I've done this before. You can get quite good damage from this uh, early on. Especially if you go to the left here, you can actually shoot anyone that is going up onto here. And as soon as the light tank spots them, you can get an easy shot. So this is an easy first bit of damage right on in the game. Um, honestly, if you've got a fast TD, just get here. And as soon as something's spotted, you can just get... The first shot off and you've done damage um, within the first 30 seconds of the game um, alternatively you can go here um, and you can shoot across to the house um, if someone's gone through the middle of the map here in, your, in the light tank then you can uh, then shoot them from over here um, and the next spot that i will show you is this spot over here um, there's actually quite a few spots in between there like all of these bushes you could go behind if you so choose um, and just overall just try and find a, a bush that works um, however, if you are going to go over here, at least wait until the light tank's dead or you do it right away at the start of the game. Um, because once you go over here, it's kind of hard um, to not get spotted. Um, so if you're going to do this in the first bit of the game, knock down this tree. This is going to give you more cover and then you can actually use this spot. Because um, once this tree is knocked down, no one's going to be able to spot you unless they come up really close or you have very, very poor um, camera rating and they have good view range. Um, but yeah, if you knock this tree over, this is the best thing to do. Always knock this tree over. It's going to tell the enemy that there's someone there, so they might start blind firing it. But honestly, they're going to be blind firing it, whereas you can get a shot off and then back off instantly. Um, as soon as you fire, you're probably going to get spotted no matter what, so always take that into consideration. But yeah, these are the two spots that I'd recommend at the start for this side of the map. Let's now switch over to the other side and finish off this uh, map guide. 
Okay, so this side of the map, and the first spot that I'm going to show you is this spot over here. Um, you do exactly the same thing. Um, what you're going to do is knock over this tree. Um, always knock over the trees. A lot of people I don't see knocking over trees. Um, yes, it will give your position away, but it gives you so much more camo. Um, it's honestly incredible. If, if you can knock down a tree, your camo rating will go up because it counts then as a bush. So, or a piece of concealment that's been knocked down so knock all of these trees down and just hide behind them make sure they become solid and then you can actually shoot anyone there and exactly the same thing from the other side is going to happen um, where they're going to need to come really close to actually spot you or alternatively they're going to have to have very very good view range and you're going to have poor camo rating to be able for them to actually spot you um, but yeah over here right at the start of the game if you want to the exact same thing is for the other side which is over here um, at this house you can do the exact same thing uh, comparison to the opposite side where you can get some easy free damage right at the start of the game um, as the light tanks will be rolling through the map at the start you just go to this uh, bush here and you shoot anyone that's there notice that you're completely safe uh, from the house over there as well because you've got this building actually uh, protecting you but if the um, if the enemies do get spotted, then you have a position, sorry, a position to shoot across over here as well. So there's lots of different places that you can go to in your TDs um, at the start where kind of you can just get free damage. Um, you can get your free first shot of damage right on early in the game, um, as long as you hit, of course. Um, there is one more spot that I'll show you um, to kind of balance out this side of the map. Um, because I've shown you over here where you can go, obviously, um, and you can go to there, so you can be kind of safe there, uh, where I showed you for the medium tanks, but you can go there in your TD, no problem, um, and that is this spot over here. Now this spot over here is going to give you a um, very, very good uh, uh, firing uh, angle for anyone that's trying to go up over this bit here. As you can see, you can see everything over here. So if they're pushing, all you have to do is just go spot them, pull back, and then shoot through the bush when it's become completely solid, and you're just farming damage right there. Or alternatively, you could fall back to here in your light tank if you want to, and get try and just get some uh, spotting damage done, um, and let your TDs that are going to be next to you or behind you uh, be able to shoot them. So you could just sit here, get some damage as soon as they're trying to push through. Um, so it's a very, very good spot later on in the game if your team decides that they don't want to win down here or if your team starts losing there. Um, so yeah, that's Live Oaks. There's plenty of spots. It's actually a pretty decent map. Um, I don't really have anything really against it. Um, it's one of the better maps in World, in World of Tanks, I would say. Um, and yeah, overall, good map. If you did enjoy this video, then you know what to do. If you didn't, leave a comment telling me why. And uh, yeah. I'll see you in the next one.